we made a covenant. If God would assist us in our liberation, uh, uh, our fight against exploitation and slavery, when we would never pray to the white man as God and we would, uh, we would attempt to achieve balance and harmony between the phenomenal world and the world of Vilokum. We would never allow any quality on the island and we would fight to liberate all of our African brothers and sisters throughout where, wherever they were enslaved. So we played that drum and we believe in our Haitian culture that the goddess from the world of Vilokun descended from the heavens and assist us to defeat the French, the Spanish, and they don't tell you this in history. We not only defeated the French, we defeated the French, the Spanish, the British, and the Americans. After 13 years of fighting, we became the only successful slave rebellion in recorded history. And the only people who were, we didn't, no white man gave us our freedom, we fought for it. And in 1804, Jean-Jacques Dessalines declared the island of Haiti, or IET, which was the name the Tyannos gave the island, um, which was a, a spiritual place for all the Tyanno uh, uh, natives. The, the island of what would become IET in the Dominican Republic was a spiritual place, a spiritual home for them. And we named the island IET, and we promised never to allow inequality on the island. However, we didn't live up to that promise. We said the island of IET would be a homeland for all African people who fall under Vilokum or Vodou. We didn't live up to that promise because what happened was they became, they assassinated this island two years after independence and the mulatto elites took over the island. So what happened, the Africans went into the mountains in the provinces and there they established the Laku system to, so that we can reproduce or have connection between the phenomenal world and the, the world of Vilokan. We try to reproduce, the, as the brother was saying, how our ancestors lived prior to arriving in enslaved, uh, prior to arriving in America. We try to reproduce that in the mountains, in the provinces, against capitalism, against colonialism, against slavery. Because that is the promise we made at Wakaima, that IET would be a homeland for all African people. And as I, this is not my first experience with the Garifuna people, the culture is as though I am in Haiti. When I hear you all play the drum, when I hear you all speak, it's as though I am in Haiti. We are one people, and we have to reproduce, this is important, this is very important because we have to reproduce the, the solidarity that we had in Africa. Because the only way we as Haitians were able to defeat the French, the Spanish, the British, and the Americans is because we made a covenant. We came together. We called on our ancestors to help us. And this is important because in the age that we're living in, in the age of climate change, the first people who are, impacted, who are impacted by climate change are people that look like us. <laughs> We're poor. We, we, climate change is impacting Africa to, it, it, it's unbelievable. It's impacting Haiti, it's impacting Belize all over Latin America. And what we have to remember, Vilokan does not teach our philosophy, the ways of our ancestors, does not teach us to be greedy, does not teach us to go after economic gain for its own sake, does not teach us to be uh, uh, selfish. The aim is to achieve balance and harmony, not only between you and nature, but between you, your community, and yourself. The, the, the aim is subsistence living with nature. We're experiencing climate change today because we're greedy where Mother Nature is fight, fighting back against capitalist development. And the only way we can survive what is coming is for us to go back to the ways of our ancestors. So it is important that we continue to share, uh, which is why I agreed to write this massive work, because it's important that we 
teach the ways of our ancestors against what's killing, what will eventually kill us. I had a professor, Dr. Simon Glenn, Glenn my, my philosophy professor, he said once to me, we're already dead, we just don't know it yet. And the only way we can survive is if we retreat back to the ways of our ancestors. Do not overexploit the earth. You don't eat to you 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 don't live to eat. You eat to live. But we live in a in a, in a system now that says no. We exploit nature. We exploit everyone. We exploit each other. So we have to move away from that. And it is it, it and it is out of that Vilocon philosophy that we will do as we as this brother is saying. Is that it is out of our Vilocon philosophy that we will try to reestablish this balance and harmony between the world we're currently experiencing and the world of our ancestors. So you're not alone. We are all one, and it is this philosophy that will get us. Hopefully, that will save us. And I will end with this. I don't want to uh, dominate the mic. So I thank you all for having me this evening. And uh, enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you.